to this experiment, we're simulating bird beaks and food. So there are four different types of food. We've got little beans, grains of rice, rubber bands, and toothpicks. I don't have any toothpicks, so I'm going to skip that one. If you don't have any of these, it's okay. Just do as many as you can to get an idea for how the experiment works. For the tools, we've got chopsticks, a spoon, tweezers, and a clothespin, clothes peg. And you're going to use every different tool with every different type of food and see which ones work best. The plate is going to be your habitat where the birds find the food and your cup is going to be the stomach of the bird. So let's start, you can start with any tool you want. I'll start with chopsticks. I will put 10 of the first item down. So I'm going to use the beans. Eight, 10. And then you start your timer for 15 seconds and see how many of the beans you can put in the stomach. Ready, go. So these are kind of hard to grab with the chopsticks, which is the point. One. Oops, two. Three. Four. I managed to get four in 15 seconds. So on my chart, I would find chopsticks and beans and put four. That's how many I got in. Now I'm going to use, keep using the chopsticks and try all the different food. So next I will put the rubber bands on my plate and see how many of these I can get into the cup in 15 seconds. Oh, that was way easier. I got them all in and I still have seconds left. So I would write 10. And you're not allowed to lift up the plate and pour them in because that makes it an unfair test. So you're going to go through and use all the di different tools with all the different types of food. Write down your results in your table. And then that will help you answer the questions on the worksheet.